What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we are going to be playing Vain Glory, and I'm going to be playing as Taka. We're going to be doing a user submitted build, or a subscriber submitted build rather, and that's going to be Tank Taka. Yep, it's it's probably not going to be the best one, but uh, it should be pretty fun. So what we're going to be doing is getting a tension bow right out at the beginning, and then the rest is going to be tank. We're going to be getting two crucibles, two fountains, and a shiver steel. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. Um, I'm not going to say that I expect much, but I am playing on my Smurf account just so that we should get at least a uh, reasonably easy game. And we'll have a chance to get some good kills because playing on my Hotness account, you, you pretty much have to play a standard build or you're going to get going to get screwed up. Um, and obviously hotness is by no means a high level as far as st skill tiers go, but it's high enough that uh, people know what they're doing and they'll take advantage of a tank Taka. Um, down here though, few people even check builds, so it's uh, unlikely that people will take advantage of me. But you know what? We always gotta be aware. Come on, oh, there we go. Got the heal from that, that's gonna be very useful. Come over here. And for the first, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to farm up to level 6. And then after that, we can start maybe going for some invades, going for some ganks. Um, but until we hit level 6, it's going to be pretty slow, pretty boring. Wish I brought like a story or something to talk to you guys about. But I don't really have much. Uh, the only thing I can tell you guys is that... Oh, wow, my laner just got annihilated. Ooh, but Taka fell too. Um, is that I am partnered with... Uh, with Vainglory League and they're actually going to be doing a North America tournament 3v3 so if you guys want to sign up for that you got to get a group of three people and then go to their website and sign up uh, there's a couple spots left for teams but it's definitely filling up quickly um, and that should be pretty cool they're giving away ice as the prize for the top uh, however many places and I'm actually going to be shoutcasting the finals on Twitch so I'll definitely give you guys more details about that when I get it as far as what Twitch channel is going to be on and all that good stuff but it, it should be pretty cool. Definitely pretty interesting. So what's what's happening over here? Um, no, not much. Except for Glaive is like getting kited to freaking hell. My god. Learn when you're not going to catch him, Glaive. <laughs> uh, we'll just head down here. Already level 3. A little bit ahead of schedule. Usually I hit about 1 level per minute. That's about average in the jungle. If you guys can do that, you're going to be pretty good. But if you're doing like... A level or every minute and a half it, it, it gets pretty crappy because you're gonna be way under level by the time you start team fighting um, which should usually be I, I don't know probably around 10 minutes maybe a little bit earlier a little bit later depending on the game but te technically I think 10 minutes is probably the the right time to start team fighting although it's really sort of up to how the game goes anyway we hit level 4 here take these guys out and we're gonna start getting levels even quicker because we're going to start being able to farm quicker so it's very nice just take these guys down haven't even used my pots yet that's something you don't see a lot when you're playing taka usually you have to use your pots constantly to stay alive but I guess guess nobody wants to bother me and i am cool with that should be hitting level five with this camp probably maybe the next one after it come on respawn there we go yeah it starts to get a little kind of boring once you get later into farming because you can get through the jungle quicker than it can respawn for you by like a good amount of time. We'll just take this guy down here. Yeah, so we got our level five. Level six should be just around the corner. And then I think maybe go for an invade because they haven't been bothering with me. So maybe we're gonna have to go knock on their door, see what's happening over there. Pop a pot just cause we can. We got it, why not? And yeah, I think once we take bottom camp and maybe the camp above it, we should be good to go as far as level six. At least very close. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be enough. We're like halfway to level six. Um, something that I'm actually not very happy about is that my editing actually crops out the very bottom of the screen, which has that gray bar on it, which will actually display how much energy you have. How did I? <laughs> okay, so they're taking that. Um, all right. We'll just chill here. Boom, stole that, got our level six. Ooh, we are in a good spot right now. I'm gonna take down this Taka, come on. 
Come on. Oh, do you have enough energy for a stun? You do. Oh no. Alright, we got we caught up with the Taka. Oh, but she stunned me. Oh, and he went invisible. No, no, things just went very, very bad. Very, very, very bad. Oh, come come on. Can we get out of this? If we can get out of this, I'm actually gonna be very impressed. How how did that how did that stun land? Are you joking right now? <laughs> just messing with her. Yeah, I should be able to get away. Wow, that's oh wow. That turned into me possibly getting a kill to me possibly dying so quickly. Chased a little bit too far, I guess. Anyway, we're almost to our tension bow there. We're 100 gold off. Wow, that's close, but no cigar. We'll just have to go through, I guess, one more time in the jungle, get our tension bow, and then we'll go on the offensive and start building start building some crucibles. We got two crucibles to build, then two fountains, and then a shiver steel. I don't know if I technically have to build them in that order, but... I, mean, I don't think it really matters when you're building a, t a tank taka. There's really no good way to build this. Um, we'll just take down these guys right here. Yeah, we got enough now to get our tension bow, which is actually going to be a major damage spike for us. So I guess that's one good thing, but yeah, it's, it's not going to be anything to be too excited about later on in the game because we're just we're not going to hit all that hard, even with taka's natural. Um, hard hitting abilities it's just it's probably not going to be enough for us to assassinate people we'll have to play uh play our role as a tank i guess anyway we'll head down here ooh <laughs> just messing with him i don't actually want to fight i mean if he wants to chase me he can wow he does wow he's falling up like really really hard Can you not, please? Thank you. <laughs> Can you not hit me? I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just left him alone and bought, but instead I wanted to mess with him, and now I don't have my tension bow. Silly Alex. And a Dodger's pushed way up. That's probably not all that great. They're taking my farm. That's not cool. Mm, don't have enough energy. I don't want to mess with it. I'll let them take that. It's a little bit of gold for them, but I can take it back later and just get some gold, so it's not too big of a deal. Here we go. Are they in this bush? I doubt it. Yeah, they're not. Okay. Every once in a while, someone will just hang around and try and catch someone trying to retake the minion mine. Um, you see it a lot later in higher levels um, where people are trying to go for, like, setup attacks and, and ambushes, but at low elo, generally you don't see it. But, you know, every once in a while you get a bright bulb and he uh, he figures out how to, how to play well and you kind of get blown up. Um, it happens every once in a while. Anyway, we are way above the mark that we needed to get our tension bow. So we'll just finish farming these guys and we will we'll get our tension bow. So that's that's gonna be good. Oh, this should be a dead Ringo. Oh yes, and I even got the gold for that. Thank you very much. So what do we build now? Crucibles. Lots and lots of crucibles. I'm going to build two cru two crucibles at a time, which means that I'm going to have to get four oak hearts, and that way I'm going to actually maximize the amount of health that I get um, at any one time, rather than just trying to build one crucible and then moving on and building the second crucible. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but basically I'm just going to be doing a multi-build so that I can uh, maximize the amount of health I get. Hard to explain, but it's what I'm doing. Anyway, move over here, take these guys down. This should give us some energy as well as health. So that's going to be useful. We'll be able to continue to farm. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do at this point. Like, this is going to be my point to get kills, but I'm not really seeing many opportunities. We'll just probably catch out Ringo at the shop a couple times, and that's going to be the extent of what I can do. And then again, where is their Taka right now? Taka's level 9. Uh, I'm level 9. Their Taka's level 7. All right, so we got a distinct advantage on their Taka. So we should probably go in on that. This is going to be the time to do it. Head over here. Just take these guys out. And let's see what we can do. Let's make it happen, guys. Make it happen. Oh, did he just... 
Uh, I thought he came out over here. Yes, I chose wrong. Anyway, we can, can we? No, mm, don't want to do that. Okay, you, you stop hitting me, please. Oh, for God, mine's galore. <laughs> I love just messing with people and hopping over them when I'm invisible because they never expect it. And yeah, you can catch me, but you're way too deep. You should probably be dead, to be honest. Oh, but I'm so slow, and I, oh, and I don't get to build boots with this build. Oh, that sucks. No boots is going to be a real downer. Because I, I, like, whoever, whoever I am, I always build boots. It's like a given. Anyway. We'll just finish farming here. At least we did pick up a kill, so we're now 2-0. Pretty happy about that. You're going to steal my farm. You know what? You do that. I don't care. I'm multiple levels above, I believe, everyone on their team. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm way over leveled right now, so that's going to be the only reason that I'll be able to win fights. Once everyone hits level 12, ooh, it's going to be interesting. Anyway, we'll pick up our next oak heart. Go for a dragon heart. Go for, re go for the reflex block. And... Oh, did that damage land? I really hope that damage land. Oh, yes, you should be dead. Yep, there we go. Good job, Adagio. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, come on. There we go, got you. Uh, wow, this is going to be interesting, though, because you're, you're pretty freaking tanky. Yeah, there we go. Five kills, guys. We are tearing it up. And to be to be honest here, my account isn't decentish, so it's it's a Smurf account, but it's not like 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 a not bad level tier or something. Like it's it's at least somewhat okay. So I'm actually pretty happy about how this game's going so far. Uh, we'll head down here, pick up another Dragon Heart, getting all the freaking health. Gonna be freaking unkillable. It's gonna be hilarious. I really hope that they don't check builds. And that they just keep trying to focus me because I'm a Taka. And, th and then they'll just realize that I'm not going to die. I won't do damage, but I won't die. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Like, I'll probably end up having more tankiness than their Catherine. Or close to it. I don't know if I'll actually have more than. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Got the kill. Ooh. Can you not hit me? That'd be great. And I walked away with full health. Isn't that great, guys? Isn't that great? All right. Well, we'll just head down here. Pick up this farm over here. What's happening over here? <laughs> that ult, though, guys, really. That was just prime. And Taka, you're... Yeah, that's bad plays by Taka there. Our Adagio should be able to kill him. Yep. Boop, you're dead. Simple as that. There was a time when you could actually, well, there, there wasn't a time all that long ago. It was one or two patches ago when um, red numbers coming from someone taking damage would still show up if you were invisible. So Taka would be like on fire from Adagio's Arcane Fire and would be just, you know, there'd just be like random numbers popping up in the air as, Ad as Taka ran away um, invisible and people would use it to track Taka. It was, oh, it was the funniest thing. No longer in the game though. It's kind of cool that we're getting to the point in the game where you can talk about things that used to be in the game sort of nostalgically, like, oh, do you remember when that character was so OP? You know, that's that's the time when you know that the game's starting to really come into its own when there's, like, history to it. Um, anyway, less of a nostalgic note here. Let's farm up their jungle. You want to... He's not going to stick in this bush, I doubt. He does. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, how are we? How are we winning this? I have no idea how that worked, but we won that fight. Is this guy not building? What is this Taka building? What? What sort of build is that? He, yeah, keep stop following me. It is sort of nice because I don't have to react quite as quickly. Like, normally with Taka, if you don't go invisible in time, you're dead. Like, flat out because you have, like, no health. But now I, I can, like, take, like, a leisurely amount of time to go from 
Invisible to invisible. Ooh, want to take you down. Ooh, no, no, I don't want to go in on that. I don't want to go in on that. But I kind of do. <laughs> All right, I, I'm going to be honest. I want to go in on that. Come on. There you go. We'll just take these guys out. Taken forever because I do no damage. Come on. There we go. Take this guy down. Come on. Come on. There we go. I will admit it, it's nice that I can like actually solo objectives because I don't have to worry about taking damage as much. It, it is kind of nice. Maybe this build's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It has its, its pros. Definitely has its cons, but it has its pros. Anyway, should we back? Uh, I kind of want to go for him, but I don't think that's going to end well. Yeah, he's going to run away anyway. We'll just let him be. Pick up our second crucible of the game. And now we go for our fountain of renewals. Starting to get to that final build, guys. Well, not really. We got three more items to go, but we're getting there, you know. Slowly yet surely. Don't know why I went invisible there. Anyway, let's keep going on here. You don't think they'd go for a Kraken. They might. I'll check. Oh, they they, they tried it. Well, at least they maybe they were baiting it. I can't tell. Either way, <laughs> Kraken was... Uh, God, freaking Ringo, stop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The damages. The damages. Oh, I died. I died. Seven and one, guys. It was a good run. But, yeah, I, I don't do enough damage. Like, normally, Taka would have been able to take out that Ringo, no problem. A couple hits, and the Ringo would have been gone. But, yeah, I just don't have the damage. It's not fun. On the other hand, they're, they're, Taka has his, his own special build here. Tornado Trigger, Serpent's Mask, and and an Oakheart. Oh, and Boots. That's that's something I would like, I gotta admit. Having Boots would be good. Oh, and they took the Kraken. Crap. Well, we should still be able to win this. Maybe. Possibly. How's my team doing? Okay. Maybe not the best. Glaive is AFK. I didn't even realize that. Alright. Well, let's go for that uh, 2v3 victory, guys. Today is the day. All right. If he wants to follow me in here, he will get hit. Nah. He doesn't want that. <laughs> they don't even... Ringo doesn't even do that much damage to me. It's hilarious. Go invisible. Thank you for the heal. Here we go. Yes, I, I saved him from the stun. Ooh, yeah, that was a lot of damage. Should probably... Ooh, I want to take him out. Ah, uh, yes, got him, got him, got him. There we go. And now we just got to kill this guy, which is going to be interesting because I do, like, no damage. It's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be... This Kraken could, like, single-handedly kill us, to be honest. 102, 174 damage. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a lot. Hopefully it's enough, though. And boom, there we go. Very good. So, no turrets. This game is looking pretty grim. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not thinking we're going to win this one, but let's see what happens. We're 8-1. and one. Uh... I'm gonna have to buy mines. I think I think I'm probably just gonna have to buy mines and and sort of just get some vision around our base to see if they try and backdoor us because they definitely could for sure. Like that's probably what they should be doing right now, figuring out a way to get in without us realizing. And even are they just going? Ooh, they might just be going for it. I'm just, I'm heading back. I'm heading back. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> you're like the worst person to backdoor this. Oh, come on. 
No, I can't take the damage. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, I think that's game. Yep, that is definitely game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription. And tell me if you enjoy me doing these really unorthodox builds because uh, generally they don't go too well. Every once in a while they do, but um, generally they don't go too well, and generally I lose with them. So if you guys are all right with watching me lose, then be sure to leave a like. And if you're not, then be sure to leave a dislike just so that I could get like a general feel for how you guys are. Um, feel about me kind of using using some bit of builds that aren't the best and uh are probably gonna end with me losing but if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscription and become a lieutenant today and i will talk to you guys in the next video see ya